Hey everyone, glad to have you with me. CK Too Much here, back again in the world of Westeros with Roland uh, Keltigar of Claw Isle. And before we get started, guys, please do remember to like and subscribe. Your support really helps me to keep going. And if you'd like to support me even further, please do check out my Patreon in the description below. Uh, but honestly, the best way you guys can support me right now is by subscribing. Uh, I am less than 400 subscribers away from becoming monetized. So if you guys like my content, you like my channel, want me to keep going, uh, please do consider subscribing. I've seen a lot of momentum lately and subscriptions. It's crazy. I think I've gotten more subscribers in the past 28 days than in like the past two years. <laughs> so I really appreciate you guys for enjoying my content. Um, I'm hoping in the near future next year or two when things settle down at work i can maybe take stuff to the next level when it comes to video editing and stuff like that but we'll see but all right so uh in the last episode we managed to finally get our hands on a dragon jaharix jaharix uh who i guess is a targaryen of some kind uh and he oh i didn't realize that his uh he was born from sea smoke i guess that makes sense since um he died from battle after riding, after being ridden by Adam, and we kind of stole Jaharix from Adam, but he doesn't seem to hold a grudge. Um, uh, but yeah, other than that, we've laid down some other plans. Um, you know, a couple episodes back, I got my mom uh, this uh, little county here, and I will soon be inheriting it once she passes away. We have these three counties up here. We need one more to get our hands on the whole duchy. And then we can probably just do some de jure um, attacks. What I'm a little concerned about is that Rhaenyra probably doesn't like us very much yet because we did not stand down. She will kind of hate us for another four years because of this. Uh, maybe I could... I don't know. I can't send her money. Yeah. Ooh, she's a rival. Oh, Alicent Hightower. Oh, she's still alive. Okay, all of her kids are dead. But she still has grandchildren uh, from a couple of different people. Yeah, Jaehaerys and Maelor and, uh, and uh, Jaehaera. I don't remember Jaehaera. Um, didn't she have uh, some other kids as well? Other grandkids? Yeah, Amon didn't have any. Um, yeah, she's here with us. And, uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, God, she had three husbands. A Baratheon and then Amon himself. Uh, so hold on. And then did Daron have kids? No. Ooh, okay. He was, yeah, almost all of them were killed by Daemon. Almost all of them. Okay. Well, anyway, yeah. So we're here. The Dance of the Dragons has come to an end. Rhaenyra is a little bit salty, and we did unland her lover in the war that we refused to stand down in when she ordered us to stop. So I'm worried that she's going to hold a grudge, but we will see. Ooh, so I got Lady Aline uh, Aaron to be my bodyguard. That's interesting, alongside her brother. So they're kind of husband, husband-wife bodyguards. Okay, so basically now we're waiting to get a claim here on Kreklaw Baron, and uh, we're also trying to save up enough money to get a dragon. Uh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold up a second. Uh, to get a dragon, what do you call it? A dragon pit, so we can breed them. What's going on here? Langward Hall War for Independence. Oh, bro, that was not a smart move. Who are you kidding that you're going to win this thing? What, did she try to, like, revoke his title or something? And what, she, he joined in? Not very smart. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, my God. Aren't we, like, married into his family? Oh, my God, my brother. Oh, uh, that's not good. Well, I'm definitely not going to get involved with that. They don't have any dragons on their side, I don't think. So they're going to get killed. Oh, what's up? Your dragon seems to have an insatiable appetite for meat and prey. She sometimes seems to spend all day hunting and then devouring the livestock in the area. Well, I wouldn't want to go hungry, so yeah, let's get her uh, some more food. Uh, I will not be joining you. And what are all these plots? Oh, that's right, and everyone's trying to kill her all of a sudden. I mean, she's known as the arrogant. She's kind of cruel praised and she's just going yeah she's raw she's like all the seven deadly sins just trying to satisfy her every single earthly desire while torturing people 
Do I have a reason to dislike her? I guess I kind of do. Yeah, she took a loan from me. She's been quite tyrannical. Um, and she has put me down a lot. Maybe I could get involved in this. But my guy's just, I feel like he would think, and he's stubborn. So he might stubbornly think, no, I'm not going to join in on this plot against her. I would love to tell her about the plot, but I can't. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I don't think my guy would go join in. But that's another thing. Everyone's trying to get rid of Rhaenyra uh, as well, I guess in favor of her son. But none of them seem to want the thing. Yeah, he's gone celibate. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, the heir is celibate. That's right. So weird, yeah. I guess her family was really scarred by the war. They, Both of her sons decided, no, power's too much. I'm not going to uh, join in. I I'm not going to become king. I just want to serve. And then Joffrey, uh, I don't know, he must have been affected by the war and now just wants to hide from himself and not get intimate with anyone else. Uh, and then after him would be uh, Aegon, I guess. And I, correct me if I'm wrong, I think Aegon is the one who ended up inheriting, if I'm not wrong. My lore, my dragon Targaryen lore is totally mixed up. I really need to reread uh, the books. Hmm. All right, well, I'll get her a good tutor. I don't want to spend too much money on her education. I have to pay for my other kids as well. Mm. We should probably get her trained up in diplomacy, but if she has a good eye for intrigue, maybe we could get her trained up with um, someone else. Maybe my wife. She's got good diplomacy and decent intrigue. Or we could just go straight up for Hagon. Yeah. Okay, maybe I should have done etiquette, but maybe Playful will turn into something cool. She's got a couple of cool traits, actually. Uh, Urien Urien has arrived at my court. Interesting. So we got a Jokos Nye who's come here. Uh, not sure why or how. Uh, I guess I could get him married. It's very strange. Oh, I forgot I gotta get my sister married. Uh, this is weird. I mean, he is noble, I guess. Oh, would he want to serve in my King's Guard? No. Okay, well, I guess he's a fighter. We could use him. Um, I just gotta find someone to marry him. Yeah, maybe this Jocelyn Brownwell? Ah, she's a little crazy. Maybe this Dark. And Maria Dark. Let's get her to marry this strange foreigner who's come to our shores for no uh, ex explicit reason. Okay, he has agreed. Very interesting. Okay. Rhaenyra has been... Uh, oh, she has not been assassinated, actually. She died from a wound. Not exactly sure how she got that. Wow, okay. So we have a new king. King Joffrey. Well, long may he reign. I wonder if he's going to take the uh, the Targaryen name or not. Uh, but I have to find... Wait, don't I have a sister who's not married? Yeah. Samela Redcheeks. <laughs> uh, oh, okay. So we could get her married to a Bolton. That would be interesting. That's a pretty prestigious house. But I would kind of be scared to send her... All the way up there. What about Egan? Egan's a Veilman. He's up here. Or maybe a Blount? Mm, or an Estermont? No. Okay. Is he... I mean, so he's no one particularly interesting. I guess he's the second in line? Ooh, he's missing a hand. Uh, well, honestly, maybe the Bolton is a good one. I mean, he's not cruel. And that's a pretty prestigious house. Crown Crag. I've never heard of Crown Crag. Although she might be pretty safe up in the Vale. And she wouldn't be too far. Uh, you know what? Let's wait and see what happens after this war in the Vale. Looks like they might actually win this thing. Oh, nope. Okay, they got a victory. That's good.
Uh, oh, Adam Valerian is now on Cyrax. Ah, okay. So Adam um, did get his hands on another dragon. Good for him. So he took his mom's dragon. Well, hopefully he has no hard feelings. Oh, he's also wounded. I wonder if they were wounded in like some different dragon battles or something like that. Uh, but okay, it's going to be a couple more years before Jaharix is capable of uh, fighting. And even then, he's going to be pretty weak. Okay, so there we have the deciding victory here. Maybe we'll pick up some land, actually. I don't know if he... He seems to have a decent opinion of me. <gasps> oh, maybe he... Oh, no, he's celibate. <clears throat> Damn. He could marry my sister. No, cause, yeah, I guess because he's celibate. That would have been perfect. Do they have any more kids? Rhaegar Waters. I guess he's going to marry my daughter. Uh, Sir Veyerman is enveloped in a deep argument with one of his rivals. Not exactly sure whom. Uh, and there might be a feud in our demands. Um... Oh, this is a, a land grab. Okay. Um, should I let the faith decide? Yeah, I think that might be the best decision. I mean, I could take the money, but I'm a just guy. I don't think I would do that to him. And I honestly don't want to spend the money. And he's, he's evil, so maybe he should... Or he's possessed by the devil, so maybe he should uh, talk to the church. Whoa! Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Holy crap. Oh, wow. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, wait, hold on. Okay. Okay, that freaked me out. I thought that all of them had declared independence, but no, it's just Mr. Massey. Oof. Okay, you know, technically we are allied with him. Uh... Yeah, don't, uh, what, what is our relationship with him again? Is it, was she, one of them was married. How did we get an alliance with the Masseys? Oh my God, I don't even remember. Ah, this one, yeah? No. Sister-in-law. Brother-in-law. How did we get an alliance with them? I'm so confused. Am um, I married to? Oh, I am married to a Massey. Okay. Well, that is my wife's house. Oof, that is not a good situation to be in. Uh, okay, I need to get my sister married, but I kind of want to wait until the war is over. Oh, and this is completely reset to zero. Uh, I don't suppose... Oh, I guess I could marry into the, the Aaron's. Huh, because we're at war. Okay, maybe after the war, we could get that marriage done. And he is the heir, so then we'd have two um, two of our guys in the Aaron bloodline. So we have a scheme to get the Stormlands, and we also have a scheme to get the Veil. Vale. That's pretty cool. Uh, what's up with this? Eustace Freewood. Um, oh, this is that orphan boy. That's right. I'll give him some basic equipment. And Osman Freewood. Are they twins? Ah, okay. So basic treatment. A uh, basic training. So, oh, you know what? A minute ago, I just realized I made a mistake. I was talking about getting that Jogos Nye on my Kingsguard, but I'm not playing as Aegon in this series. I'm playing as him. That's why I couldn't do it. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, these these series are kind of related, the what Aegon series that I'm doing and, and this one. So, uh, okay. So anyway, um... Let's go back to the Osmonds and Eustace. Okay, yeah, I got this orphan family somehow. They just turned up at my door. Um, both of his, yeah, their father died of depression. Oh, no, poor health, and then their mom died shortly after. So we are raising them up uh, to serve us. Yeah, they're each being taught by a different warrior. So we'll have the three free woods, hopefully serving us very well. Okay, very interesting. Um, oh. Ah, and Maylis has finally been tamed by uh, Galfred. Oh, that could be an interesting match. Ooh, okay. You know what? Maybe we should marry into the Valerian family. Okay, that's a good idea. I like it. 
All right, any chance we can get him to come to court? He has a bad opinion of, or he has a good opinion of Adam, and there's no reason for him to move. Hmm. Okay. Well, it's good that we have the, an in with him. All right, and Allard, the man I named my son after, has been captured. Or did I name my son, or was that my brother? Yeah, it was Allard. Uh, okay, and my brother can now marry uh, Mela Tarth. Excellent. And where is she in line in the inheritance exactly? Ooh, she's uh, very far down, actually. So hold on. This is like what his... Ah, uh, okay, she's like really, 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 really far down. But still, it's a Tarth. It's a fellow narrow sea islander. It's the pretty prestigious match. And Viserys can also marry Reyna. Um, okay. Cool. All right, so we've got some good marriages going on here. Okay, and he has agreed. Okay, I can't believe this. We got the celibate king. I guess he'll be 100% focused on the realm, so that's good. Uh, a man claiming to be a lord who disappeared seven years ago has found his way to my castle. He sings with the children of the forest, and some say his songs are prophetic. Just throw him out, or long lost but home again. Um, I feel like my guy's just, so he might let him in, or be curious and knowing what's wrong with him. But it does give me this special option. Is my guy kind? I don't know if he would do that. He's kind of loyal. I honestly don't know. I mean, we are taking care of those orphan boys. So maybe he, I am kind of kind, and I am just, so I would want to listen to what he said. So you know what? I'll do it, I guess. I feel like he could go one way or the other. Okay, so this war is turning out to be very interesting. Um, so the Masseys, yeah, Maslin, Maslin Massey. And where is my wife on the inheritance? Probably, yeah, far away down, yeah? Uh, okay. Random new Kingsguard member. They keep wanting me to be a commander, but I'm still just waiting for my dragon to come of age, so... No, thank you. Uh, I, every time I see Lord of the Whispers, I think I'm the Master of Whispers. I'm not even on the council. That's crazy. Speaking of council, how are you doing? All right, hopefully he can get us one more claim. That would be cool. All right, yeah, they're slowly kicking the veil's ass. Very curious to see what's going to happen uh, after this. You know, maybe that would have been a better match. Jonathan John Thor, that's a cool name. Maybe I should have married my sister to him. But still, it's good to have her married to a dragon rider. You know, keep the Valerian bloodlines going. Uh, I was about to lose a bet, and I felt inclined to cheat. Um, I had to be just, even though it cost me some gold. Oh, so I didn't cheat. Look at that. So I feel vindicated in my decision to help that random guy. <clears throat> and another marriage is going to go through. Uh, my daughter to a Darklin. Ah, that's right. Yeah, I did want to secure an alliance with them once I became the Lord of Cracklaw Baron. Kind of curious, who currently owns that position? No one. Okay. Hmm. Uh, the dowry is to the groom's house, so I will give him the customary amount. All right, Joffrey has been eaten by a dragon, and now uh, this guy is king, or uh, lord of the Vale. Ooh, so if we get rid of him and uh, his brother, I guess my sister-in-law will inherit the veil. So we're not too far behind. Although my guy probably wouldn't do that. And it doesn't look like we can. So a group of robbers calling themselves the Band of Brothers have been brought before me. Their list of crimes is long. Uh, Immersement. Why would I care about petty thieves? Uh, perfect punishment. 
Okay, well, I am just, so I feel like I would punish them. Oh, yeah, give me my money. Your mom owes me money. Okay, well, he's going to pay the interest. Uh, uh, okay, so he has finally been, um, what do you call it? Uh, crowned. What's the word? I'm coronated. Oh, I'm not good with words today. My wife doesn't seem very content at the moment, and she wants more clothes and better shoes and fine dresses. My dear, I can't refuse you anything. Uh, well, I am kind, and we have money, I guess. But I feel like it's death by a thousand cuts here. Just keep spending and spending and spending. Uh, oh, okay. Ruler grant sovereignty law has been approved. Uh, an heiress, let's get you a very good tutor. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I can train you at war, I suppose. I'll train you myself, my boy. Uh, okay. Any chance I can get you? No. Higher tier and base reluctance. I could try to give him money and see if it works, but... Oh, I've been invited to a wedding. Let's go. So we can travel of Duskendale. Who's my regent? Oh, uh-oh. There's a wedding and a feast happening at the same time. I guess this is in celebration of his coronation. So I'll go to both, I guess. Or I will try. Speaking of which, let's uh, collect some taxes here. Alina and Yoen Darklin have been brought before the gods. Uh, I... The great lords and ladies of Duskendale look upon as he drapes her in the arms of House Darklin, and their marriage is sealed. Cool. So I guess I'll go to this one first and then to this feast. Uh -huh, okay. I guess and it, hopefully there won't be any extra events from this because it looks like I went to this and then this a few days later. Uh, Alix has arrived at my court, a pirate, and immediately was killed <laughs> by someone else. Uh, okay, that's weird. Oh, look at that. They had a kid, that Jogos Nai guy that showed up at my courts. Uh, let's get him trained by his own father, and I guess I won't try to change his religion. Uh, but okay, so there's delicious aromas from the kitchen, and there's dream wine, and bread and salt, and a great guest list. Oh, okay, so it looks like I'm doing both of these at the same time. I'm running back and forth. So... The betting between Yoen and my daughter Elena has been done. A fine tradition. Uh, the jade sea wine flowed at the feast, and whenever I emptied my cup, a servant refilled it. Uh, hmm. Would I be a... Dr I'm stubborn. So I feel like you could say, no, thank you. But I really feel like he'd go either way, to be honest. But I'm stubborn, so maybe I would say, you know what? I don't care if... If I feel peer pressure, I'm just going to say no. Uh, okay, so King Jeffrey committed a lot of gold to the extravagant feast. Um, and there is a fortress covered in silver. The fortress was hollow and formed in a sort of cage in which several live birds were shut up and their tufts and feet being gilt. On its tower, which was gilt, the banners of House Valerian were placed. Okay, wow. So a pretty crazy decoration piece. So he's spending all this money when he owes me money? And he has negative 54 money. Wow. Seems like kind of weird that this celibate guy who, I don't know, is doing some kind of weird meditation would be so extravagant. Plus, he also has a lot of horrible sins. Ooh, he is not a good guy. Okay. This guy's weird. I'm really curious about why he became celibate. Maybe from loss? Maybe he lost, like, his... I don't know, his... I don't even know. He didn't lose any brothers. Maybe because his sister died? I, I don't know. From battle? Very curious. Um, a great trial happened at Pike. Doesn't seem too consequential. Okay. Well, wow. Very, very strange. Okay. Well, how is my dragon doing? Oh, and young Ares has impressed everyone with his sensibility. Life will reward him, or she should use that power for good. Hmm. Um, I feel like my guy would probably try to teach that to him. Yeah, being just. Oh, but he became temperate. Okay, that's fine, I guess. 
Um, mm -hmm. Okay, good, good. Did some work for the poor. I'm not having any luck with Crackclaw Baron, huh? Okay, you know what? Let's try uh, Dire Den instead. <laughs> Maybe we'll have a better chance there. We just need one more, I think. Oh, I could change the election, the um, succession laws. Agnatic. Only males can inherit. Hmm. No, I don't think we have to do that. Although that is concerning. I feel like my brother should inherit it before my daughters. I guess I could do agnatic. So only males can inherit. Yeah. Let's change that because we don't want any... Um, you know, we don't want them to take over our lands. Uh, so I've been invited to Winterfell to go to a tournament. Would I do that? Mm. Hmm. Would I do it? I mean, I'm a knight. Why not? Why not? Yeah, I'll go. Yeah, we can see what happens there. Uh, okay, so it looks like... Okay, so he dealed with some kind of rebellion out there. Ooh, there's a young, new Greyjoy on the, on the sitting in the Salt Throne. Oh, what do we get here? Eddard Whitehill. Okay, a little bit of a combat. Am I fighting in this tourney or no? Okay, wait, there's some true warriors up here. The White Hills and Domeric Slate. So Lord Eddard was proclaimed the winner of the melee. Good for him. Good for him. Uh, okay, peasants from the countryside have sent a representative to petition for our support for traditional carnivals. Uh, I guess if I'm supposed to do it, if that's my obligation, I'll do it. Since I am just, I don't want to lose that trait since it's a big part of my personality. Oh, okay, and then our treasurer has upset the peasants, so I guess it's good that we put on the carnivals. Uh, all right, so Cregan um, put up a spectacle for all of those present. Okay, I thought I was going to get the fight in the tournament. That's a little bit of a bummer. Oh, but winter has started, so that's a good time for us to just head on down. And what's going on up here? Wasn't there like a king beyond the wall not too long ago? Oh, no, no, it was a long time ago. Yeah, Bail the Bard. Uh -huh, okay. Uh, um, I don't want... Why do I keep having to pay you money? I, I think I'm just gonna... Uh, I don't want to give him money. Would I do it? I am just and kind. I guess I would do it, but we're trying to save up. Uh, the word has reached you that Septon Baramos has given into weakness and helped himself. Oh, and just when he was saying he was deserving such an award, a reward. Well, give me the money and I will forgive you because I want that money. That's for sure. Oh, and look at that. Our brother has done a good job increasing our recruitment drive. Good for him. Uh, okay, well, good for you, Arthur. Good for you. We should get to get a son into your wife there. All right, guys. Well, I think I'm going to go ahead and end this episode in uh, a moment. Ooh, I'm going to talk to my son about working hard. Oh, look at that. We managed to turn him from slothful to diligent, just like his daddy. But we are seeing things move uh, in the right direction. Oh, I need a new spy master. Uh, oh, and my mom... Hmm? What happened? Did my mom lose the... What? I'm confused. My Our alliance broke down? Okay. Whoa! Okay, so I have been given the High Lordship of Dragonstone? That's weird. Oh, and she's now my vassal. Ah, that's kind of a, unusual. Okay, so he kept the actual county for himself, but he's given me the High Lordship. Uh, well, that's interesting. Uh, can I revoke his title? No, he would not. He would not be happy about that. Uh, okay, cool. So he's that that very weird. Honestly, I might um, I might use cheat codes to fix that. I don't know why he would give me Dragonstone, but I guess I appreciate it. 
King Joffrey the Bleeder. Maybe he's just nervous that I have a dragon, and he feels like he already has Adam on lock. Although, or maybe he's just not very bright. I mean, I don't see anything that would say he's unintelligent, but he's proud. So, I don't know. Very weird mood. Weird move. Uh, or maybe he wants me to join him <laughs> in, at the command table. I don't know. Very strange. Uh, okay, well, my dragon's almost fighting age. He just needs to be, I think, eight martial uh, to actually be able to do a fight. So that's good. And once again, a very good tutor for Allard. Oh, uh, you know what? Let's get him trained up as a steward. He's very, very young. He's way down in the succession. And he's good at it. So I'll send him over to my mama. He'll live with his grandma just across uh, the sea. And hopefully he will learn his psalms. Well, all right, guys. So I think I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I'm just going to go ahead and oh, go through with this marriage. Cool. Okay, so she has a strong claim. So I might be able to use my dragon to put her on the throne. Yeah, I could do it. And then once um, she dies, if she doesn't have another boy, it'll pass on to Manila. Manila. And then my son will be Lord of the Stormlands. So we honestly, we got that to look forward to. So that's good. And then honestly, from there, we'll have a lot more options. Uh, we also might be able to get something done in the Vale here because my... My... Uh, daughter or my sister-in-law is not too far down in the succession either so the veil and the stormlands might be in play if we can get the stormlands and our dragon is big enough we might even be able to challenge the crown but i think that's still quite in the distance aha okay so wait a minute oh no he is my vassal super weird when i click on this it didn't have dragon stone highlighted oh yeah it did okay very weird move from joffrey but i guess we'll have to deal with him for the next few years until aegon uh becomes king uh so all right guys thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one